In this video, we're going to be covering how to take down the dead bride. So if you've been having issues with this void boss, hopefully by the time this video is over, you'll have all the information you need to succeed. So let's go ahead and get into this one. Starting things off, we've got our recommendations and for this void boss, I recommend 25,000 DPS. Now for the Descendant modules, I recommend Cold Antibodies as this is going to give you a chill resistance of plus 87, and Antifreeze Solution which is going to give you frostbite immunity and chill resistance plus 1%. In this boss fight, I typically like to start on the left hand side. I'll go ahead and place my turret and get it charged up while I'm waiting for the boss to fully spawn in. After she spawned in, I went ahead and started my assault on the weak spot on her chest while my teammates were working on her pauldrons. Now this boss has multiple weak points including her ears, her shoulders, her chest, and her anklets. So make sure that you're putting your DPS on one of these spots. Now for this void boss, whenever she goes into her staggered state bending over, that's when I try to lay in my maximum amount of DPS onto her shoulder pauldron as I'm trying to get it to turn yellow so that we can get her into another stunned state. Now as you can see here, one of the first abilities we're going to show is the missiles that she can shoot at you. These do pretty good damage, so you're going to want to try to avoid these and move out of the way. As soon as this is over, you can see one of my party members is going in for a grapple on the boss, so I use this opportunity to try to get in close with my grapple so I can get it set up to do damage. Now after both of her shoulders have been broken away, the next position that I like to try to do my damage to is going to be her chest, as this is going to be another grappling point. The only problem with this one is that whenever she's in her stun state, she tries to cover it with her arms. As for this void boss, whenever she's throwing ice at you, make sure that you're constantly moving to avoid as much damage as possible. Now here's an example of another ability that she has. She'll float up into the air and raise her hand. When she does this, you're going to see a snowflake spinning around and it's going to start shooting icicles at you. Make sure that you're avoiding those and also make sure that you're not stepping in the ice that it's leaving on the ground. Now for this boss's most damaging effect, it's what I call the snow globe. It's when she turns the whole area around her into a frozen plane. Now you know that this is coming when you're doing damage and you see it starts to become immune. Whenever you see that immune symbol start to pop up, make sure that you're getting as far away as possible so that you have the least amount of distance to traverse from the snow globe. Now once this happens, the only way to do damage to the boss during this point is through the two probes that are protruding from her gun. You can shoot those and they'll slowly start to sink in and when you do this, she'll go from being immune to back to being able to be damaged. Another thing you can do is wait it out, which during this time, what I like to do is go around and try to collect ammo to get all of my resources back up and my health back up, as well as check on all of my teammates to make sure that they're okay. Now she's typically going to do the snow globe twice, so make sure you're paying attention because you don't want to be caught in that. And then after that second snow globe, that's when her immunity is going to fade away and you'll be able to start your damage phase again. Now by about this point, her shield should be gone and your damage should start to pick up. And one of the next abilities you're going to see here is she's going to levitate again off the ground, forming that snowflake above her hand. But this time, instead of just shooting icicles out, she's going to slam the ice around her in a circle. As you can see, these pylons of ice are all formed around her, and as she comes down, they also slam in her immediate vicinity. Now this is going to be one of her very high damaging abilities, so when you see this, you're probably going to want to back up unless you have very high defense or this ability could potentially one shot you. At this point I noticed my team needed a little bit of healing so I dropped out a heal turret and then I got to work laying in as much damage as possible as I'm trying to set up for the next grapple. Now at this point in the fight she still has the weak point on her chest and the two ankle bracelets intact. So at this point I'm trying to do as much damage as I can on the chest to try to get it set up for that grapple. However when she moves I go ahead and switch targets to the ankle bracelet so I can still continue to do high DPS and then she goes into her next phase of the snow globe. Now once I see that immunity pop up I instantly try to create my distance between me and the boss. However while doing so I turn around and notice that she's already teleported back close to me. So then I go ahead and start creating distance as she creates the snow globe and once I get out of this, I go ahead and drop a heal for me and the team, making sure that everyone's okay and give it a quick boost. After doing this, I then go over to kill some mobs and go ahead and work on making sure that all of my resources are back intact so that when the DPS phase comes back around, I'll be ready to go. Now one of the biggest challenges I find during this void boss is actually the struggle for ammo. So make sure that someone on the team is killing all the ads and whenever you need ammo, be sure to keep in mind of where the location is that those ads died, swing back around, pick up your ammo and get back into the fight. 
Now, right after I escape this snow globe here, I turn around and I try to get a little bit of damage, but she's too far away. However, what you're going to notice here is a new ability. You're going to see a beam of light charging across the screen, and this is her ice beam that she's charging up. It's fairly easy to avoid as it's a slow charge, and once it shoots off, all you got to do is dodge it. Now sometimes during these void boss battles, unexpected things will happen. And just like golf, you just have to play it as it lies and just press on. Now one of the next things that happens here is one of my teammates tries to grapple onto that chest piece that's been set up. Unfortunately though, the game sometimes has an error here where you'll go to break a body part and nothing happens. So this is just one of those things that you have to deal with and move on, and so we just get back to work. Now at this point in the fight, all of her weak points have officially been broken, so all you can do is pelt her with as much damage as possible, which is exactly what we're doing here. And as you can see, the area that we're choosing to aim at is going to be the chest, as this is the area where I see the biggest damage numbers. And eventually, if you push hard enough, you're going to get her to go into a stun state, which you're going to see happen right here. Now, while we had her here in this stunned state, this was the best time to sink in as much damage as possible as we're getting close to the end of the fight. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're putting all of our damage into her chest, trying to finish her off. However, unfortunately, I stayed in too long. And by doing so, I ended up taking too much damage and had to back out. While I was backing out to go get healed, little did I know, she had other intentions in mind as she had one more trick up her sleeve. When I turned back around, she was getting ready to set up for one more snow globe. This was going to postpone the fight just a little bit longer. Unfortunately, this is just how it goes sometimes and you just have to press on. At this point, you guys should completely understand how the snow globe stage works and how to avoid it. So once we got out of there, we went and searched for ads. When we found those, we went ahead and killed those, got some ammo, made sure everybody was healed up. And while we were doing this, she happened to teleport in on us to drop her next snow globe. So we went ahead and got out of that. And once this happened, we knew the timer was about up for her snow globe stage for her invincibility. So as it was running up, we decided we would wrap around and get over there to where she was located. And as we all grouped up around her, this is when we started our final assault onto the balls. As we rounded the corner approaching the void balls for the last time, we unloaded all of our DPS into her. And within a matter of moments, the void boss was down and this was a void intercept complete. And that's how you beat the dead broad. That pretty much sums up how to bring down this boss, and hopefully now that you've gotten all this information, you're going to be taking on the dead bride soon, and you're going to be able to bring her down and get ready for the next hard boss. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you still have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below, and for all things First Descendant related, be sure to check back, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.